It's another episode of WTF, Whiskey, Today's Fact. Welcome back to the part of our show, Try Before We Die, where we look to give you a fact, not our often wrong guesses and flawed opinions. Right, Malcolm? Today we'll look at understanding the age of your Scotch whiskey. When we think about wine, one of the basic facts is that once wine is transferred into bottles, it continues to age and mature. This leads to folks who enjoy wine paying close attention to the vintage year and how many years it has been in the bottle, with some trial and error leading to understanding when a wine is at its potential peak flavor. It's a real art. Scotch whiskey is, on the other hand, aged when it comes to the flavor and aroma entirely in the cask. Once the whiskey is transferred to bottles, all aging is stopped and the Scotch whiskey will taste the same, in theory, on the day it was bottled and in the future on the day the bottle was opened, regardless of how long it stays in the bottle. So, a 12-year-old single malt Scotch whiskey that sat on a shelf for eight years is not a 20-year-old single malt. It will always be a 12-year-old Scotch whiskey. Again, wine will age and continue to change in the bottle, and Scotch whiskey will not. Now briefly, once a Scotch whiskey is opened, many folks, myself included, believe that the exposure to air does change or modify flavors ever so slightly. This means that, as a general rule, once your Scotch whiskey is opened and the bottle is more than two-thirds empty, it is fair to consider finishing that bottle within the next six to twelve months in order to reduce the potential degradation due to oxidation. In other words, bottoms up when the bottle is going down. And that's whiskey, today's fact. The water of life.